Over the course of the last 10 years, I've had an incredible experience traveling, talking to business owners all across the world and asking them questions about their business. And as I've gone through that process, there's one specific question that has always come back to me that has created such curiosity in my life. And that question is simply this. How do I, as a business owner, get in front of my target demographic, my customers, my patients, people in this world, so that I can get my message in front of them? Quite an interesting question, right? It's taken me on a seven-year journey of understanding a study called consumer behavior. And today I'm going to prove to you, each and every one of you, that you're a little bit more predictable than you think. And I'm going to do that by sharing three specific things. If a company can build authenticity with you, they'll make a connection with you. If they share a story with you that brings emotion to the connection, they've got you. And finally, the experience of some people is often the experience of others. Let's talk about authenticity. I want, I want to take you on a journey with me here for a quick moment. Think about that person in your life who has had the most impact in your life. Was it a father, a mother? A spouse, a significant other, a grandfather? Why? Why did that person have such an impact on you? I would venture to guess that the reason they had so much impact and influence in your world is because they had an authentic moment that connected you to them. We had an opportunity a few years ago to work with a home health and hospice organization that home health and hospice organization was having a difficult time connecting with the decision makers that decided where they would bring their patients. It was interesting to me that as we dialogued through their tactics and strategies for connecting effectively, they talked about tactics without connection. In our formulation, we decided let's set up a nonprofit organization to tell to build a value of authenticity a little deeper. So we did. We set on a journey. They started what they call Bucket Wishes Foundation, which think of it like make a wish foundation for those people in their last few months and years of their life. My business partner, also a pilot, decided that we were going to create something incredible for a few specific patients of theirs. Mal Vern, an 82-year-old war vet, and Selma, an 85-year-old previous stewardess. We found a plane. We decided to take these two wonderful individuals on the last flight of their life. Can you imagine? Mal Vern, with his cane, walking up, had a little bit of a skip to his step. We sat him in the back seat of the plane, He looked at the camera and he says, my red baron is flying again. What a touching moment. Selma, this beautiful little 85-year-old lady sitting in the cockpit, the co-pilot holding on to the instruments, checking the instruments with the smile from ear to ear that she probably hadn't experienced in years. We captured that moment through videography. That authentic connection changed everything. It touched the hearts of over 50,000 people in a local community. Many times, seeing people with tears running down their faces, they shared that. Authentic connections, authentic connections can change the nature of a business. I remember when I was younger, my parents used to read me stories, take me into a whole new world of imagination, connect me with things that I never thought I would even think about. I remember so many times where it helped me to think bigger and connect even more. They say the documentation in in the form of stories is the connection to authenticity. I want to share with you another story. 
Gil Zamora, a forensic artist for the FBI. He was placed in a big warehouse with a chair facing the backside of the warehouse, away from the door. There was a couch positioned right next to him on the right-hand side. A curtain separated them. Five women were asked to come in, sit down on the chair. Gil Zamora sat on the chair without making any sort of contact with these women and asked them to describe themselves, the features of their face, their forehead, the length of their hair, the shape of their eyes, the shape of their nose, their lips, their chin. Each one of them, one by one, described themselves. After that experience, they left. They went into another room where they met some complete strangers, spent about five minutes with those complete strangers, had a quick, a quick brief conversation with them. These strangers were then asked to come and sit down in the very same chair and describe, the, describe that woman that they, they connected with. The length of their hair, the shape of their eyes. It was interesting to see the depiction so differently positioned. These strangers were then asked to leave. And again, the five women that were asked to be there in the first place came in, stared at the pictures in awe. Many of them tearful. We're a little bit too rough on ourselves, aren't we? 18 and a half million people made an authentic connection to that story. That story changed the way that they looked at that brand. Let me talk about the third one. The experience of others is often the experience that we have in our own lives, isn't it? Let's be honest. How many of you read a review before you buy a product and a service? Right? Yeah. As a matter of fact, this has become such a science that Northwest University actually created and did a study on this. And they noticed that businesses in general that show a customer experience prior to buying have convinced you and the probability of you buying a product or a service from them is 270% more likely. Fascinating. As a matter of fact, the same study, the same research showed that those organizations that have five-star reviews are oftentimes seen as inauthentic. We as consumers appreciate those companies that have or have shown the experiences of others by the range of about 4.2 stars to 4.5 stars. We see that as, quite honestly, valuable to us. We've also noticed that in this study, it also showed that we really only read those first five reviews when buying a product or service. Think about the last time you were standing in a retail location, product in hand, mobile device in the other, looking at the product, trying to figure out whether or not you wanted to buy it. Most people, quite frankly, look at it, pull up Amazon.com to price shop, right? <laughs> and as they do that, they get so much more out of that. They get the description of the product, the specifications behind the product, but most importantly, they get to see the experiences of other people. It validates that buying behavior. Reviews social proof, experiences of others, stories that connect emotionally to a brand, and finally, building authenticity is how businesses connect with you consumers because, quite frankly, you're much more predictable than you think. Thank you.